Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how scientists cracked a Martian rock mystery using a nuclear reactor. Sometimes, big rocks from space, called meteorites, hit our Earth. Some of these meteorites are actually parts of an old explosion that happened on our neighboring planet Mars. Scientists wanted to know how old these Martian meteorites are. And now they have reportedly solved this puzzle using a special research-oriented nuclear reactor. They found out that most of these meteorites are not very old, only a few hundred million years. They think these rocks came from recent volcanic activity on Mars, especially from the biggest volcano in our whole solar system, called Olympus Mons. A scientist named Dr. Ben Cohen, along with a team from the University of Glasgow, the Natural History Museum, the University of Edinburgh, and some researchers in the U.S., worked very hard to figure out the exact age of these Martian meteorites. They used a special method called argon-argon to measure the age. We know from certain chemical characteristics that these meteorites are definitely from Mars, explained Dr. Cohen. They put small pieces of seven Martian meteorites into the nuclear reactor to check the argon levels. They also considered the argon the rocks might have picked up in space and made sure they didn't get mixed with Earth's air. Once we did that, the argon-argon ages came out as being young and matched perfectly with other methods, like uranium lead, said Dr. Cohen. But here's a bit of a puzzle. Mars is very old, like three to four billion years old. But these meteorites are much younger, only a few hundred million years old. Dr. Cohen thinks that Mars gets hit by rocks often, and this creates a layer of crumbly rock on its surface. So, newer rocks keep coming up because of volcanoes. This means that with each new hit, older rocks are less likely to get sent into space. This research helps us understand more about our solar system's history and is useful for missions to Mars, like the Perseverance rover, Curiosity rover, and ExoMars. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.